Okay, hold on. What's up, YouTube? This is Tien. This is our second video in the efficiency series. And today I wanted to talk about three things. One is uh, the importance of a loot filter. Two is when to pick up rares. And three is how to price rares. Uh, in the first video, I said the most common question is, how do I make so much currency? But actually, the most common question I get on stream is, how do you price these rares? Um, you know, somebody will link their item or something like that and they'll be like, can you help me price this? I don't have comparables. And the answer is, I don't, I don't know. I don't have like a secret pamphlet or notebook that tells me the prices of things. I, I price rares the same way everybody does, which is like going to poe.trade. Um, but let's hop into kind of that first topic, which is a loot filter. You can see here I'm in the middle of a map and you might notice that there's not a lot of loot on the ground, but actually that's my loot filter that's taking care of that. So, I mean, here's what the game really looks like, you know, without a loot filter, right? Like it's, it's actually absurd. Like you can't see anything on the ground. I mean, this is obviously like an extreme example, but, um, you know, the importance of a loot filter is, so you see less things on the ground and you're really just picking up the more important things. Um, you, you basically only want to be picking up high currency items. If you stop to pick up all of those items, and basically, you know, try and price them and sell them all. Yes, you will you will make currency off the things you can sell, but you're spending a lot of time kind of inundating yourself with all of this this random stuff. Um, so it, it's a weird concept. It's a little counterintuitive, but um, you actually start making more currency when you start picking up less things. Okay, so that's that's the importance of a loot filter, and something that I try and keep in mind when I'm playing is to uh, pass over a lot of rares and uh, really just only pick up like raw currency maps and uh, things I know will sell easily. So, you know, high, high base you uniques or uh, high based rares and like certain uniques that roll well. And that comes with experience. Um, so that's when you pick up rares and kind of the importance of a loot filter. How to price rares is you just go on to poe.trade. You know, anytime somebody asks me how to price a rare, um, it's usually because the rare has a certain stat range or a value that they think is important. And so what you'll do is you could just type that into poe.trade and find comparables. So find ones that are maybe worse than yours and you can price yours higher, ones that are kind of better than yours and price them lower than that. Um, that's kind of my method in doing it. I'm not very good at pricing rares, so I just choose not to most of the time. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. The next one that we're gonna get into, we're gonna talk about increased item quantity and uh, stacking quant and the things that affect map drops. All right, I will see you guys in the next one.